the Syrian refugee crisis, this is what David Cameron wants you to imagine. Not the packed boats or trains crossing Europe, but the rows of shacks and tents in camps like this bordering Syria. This is Zatari in Jordan, home to 90,000 people, and it's places like this that the Prime Minister wants Britain to help. David Cameron's come here to remind people that the vast majority of Syrian refugees live in cities and camps like this, and it's here where he believes they should be supported, even if the conditions, as he admits, can sometimes be pretty grim. The right thing to do is to spend money helping people in the region. These people I've spoken to, they all want to go home. They want to go home to Syria. And so what we're doing, spending money helping them to stay in Jordan, in Lebanon, in refugee camps like this, that is the right answer. So far, that answer has meant a billion pounds of British aid spent in the region, more than any EU country, helping thousands and their children. My country helps to fund the, the schools here and the camp here while you're away from your home. But one day we want to, to have the opportunity to go to your home. Okay. Back in Europe, Mr Cameron's been attacked for not letting more refugees come to Britain. But here he hit back at his critics and said they had a moral imperative to match UK aid on the ground. It's now time for other countries to step up and join us doing even more. Because if we don't spend that money, many, many more people will make that potentially lethal crossing to Europe and lives will be lost. Mr Cameron's promising to take in 20,000 of the most vulnerable refugees over five years, including the disabled, but far fewer than many EU countries. Earlier in Lebanon, where one in four are refugees, he flew to a camp just a mile from Syria. Here he met a mother trying to feed ten children on less than nine pounds a month. It was not, she said, enough, and the government here agrees. Uh, we need more support and we need long-term uh, commitment because uh, the situation is getting worse. We have uh, more kids out on the street that we need to put in schools. For weeks, David Cameron's been accused of lacking compassion for Europe's refugees. Today, he found the pictures to show where he thinks that compassion should be directed. James Landell, BBC News, Jordan.